Okay, this video is about vectors, so to start off with a reminder about GCSE work on vectors. Uh, the vector that takes you from A to B can be written like that, AB with an arrow over the top, and it's written as two numbers. The top number is the displacement in the X direction, which is 2 and the second number is the displacement in the y direction. So from A to B, it's 2 along and it's 1 up. So the vector from B to C, it's none along, and because it's going down by 1, 2, 3, 4, that's minus 4. The vector from uh, D to E, well, this way is positive, so that way is negative, so it's minus 1, but it's plus 2. So that vector is minus 1, 2. So that's the vector DE, this is the vector BC. Sometimes, instead of writing OA, if we've got the vector from O to A like that, sometimes the uh, lowercase letter underlined underline can be used. So they mean the same thing. In both cases it's 2, 1. So it's worth noting that in this case the vector BC is also equal to 2, 1. So the vectors OA and BC are equal They've got the same length or magnitude, they've got the same magnitude, they're in the same direction, they're parallel, they're in different positions, but they have the same magnitude and the same direction, and they're equal. Now if we look at the vector OA here, that's one along and one up. If we look at the vector AB, that's two along and it's two down. And if you look at the vector OB, that's 3 along and 1 down. So if we add these vectors, OA and AB, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 and minus 2 is minus 1. So OA plus AB equals OB. OA plus AB equals OB. So to go from O to B we could go that way or we could go that way. The end result is the same. This plus this one, OA plus AB, that has the same effect as OB. Here we've got a situation where the vector from A to B is 5 along and 3 up and the vector from B to A, which is the same vector but in the opposite direction, is minus 5 minus 3. So we've got AB is 5, 3. We've got BA is minus 5, minus 3. And AB equals minus BA. So here we've got these two vectors, A and B, and we want to show on the diagram 2A minus 3A and so on. So 2a, now a vector has magnitude and direction but not position, so if I just want to show the vector 2a, I'm going to drag and draw that anywhere, there's a, there's another a, so that vector there is 2a. Uh, minus a goes in this direction, so minus a could be like that, minus 2a there, minus 3a there, not the best straight line I've ever drawn, but that vector there is minus 3a. 2a plus b, well I've already drawn 2a, there's b, so 2a, and then let's draw um, a b in here, that's there. So the vector 2a plus b is this vector here, 2a plus b. And then we also want a minus 2b, so let's draw a in here. Uh, what well, a is already there, so minus b 
takes me down to there. So that's minus b there. And then minus another b takes me down to there. So the whole vector from there to there is a minus 2b. So that's a, that's minus b, that's minus another b. So that vector there is a minus 2b. Now just a reiteration about parallel vectors. 2a plus 5b, what's the vector that's parallel to that? Well, double that. What's another vector that's parallel to that? Let's times it by 7. All these vectors are parallel. Let's times it by minus 6, so minus 12a minus 30b. All those vectors are parallel. Now the magnitude or the length of the vector can be worked out by using Pythagoras. If we've got 2a plus 5b, then if that's 2 and that's 5, then the length or the magnitude of that vector is root 29. So the magnitude of that is root 29. What's the magnitude of this? Well, it's 4 squared plus 10 squared. Uh, that's 116. Bear in mind, though, that if I take root 29 and multiply it by 2, that's 2 root 29. Why well, do I times by 2? Because this vector here is 2 times this vector here. So if I times the magnitude of this vector by 2, 2 root 29, I can put that, uh, well, root 116, that's root 4 times 29, which is 2 root 29. So it's quicker, actually, just to take the magnitude of this vector and multiply it by 2. And the same for this. The magnitude of this vector is going to be 7 root 29. The magnitude of this vector is going to be 6 root 29. The magnitude is the length of the line. You can't have a negative length. So the magnitude of the vectors uh, you get by Pythagoras. Let's think about the vector 3a plus 4b. The magnitude of the vector is 5. Let's think about the vector 3 fifths a plus 4 fifths b. Well, the magnitude of that vector is just going to be 5 multiplied by a fifth, which is 1. Let's just check. Let's do 3 fifths squared plus 4 fifths squared and take the square root. So that's the square root of 9 twenty fifths plus 4 20, uh, 16 twenty fifths. 9 and 16 is 25, so that's 1. So this vector here has got length or magnitude 1 and it's got um, a special name, it's a unit vector. Any vector which has magnitude 1 is a unit vector. So a vector of a unit vector in this direction is this vector here. Now two special unit vectors are the vectors 1 naught and naught 1. Clearly the magnitude or the length of each of these vectors is 1. These are given special letters i and j. So i is the vector 1 naught, j is the vector naught 1. This allows us to use algebra to describe all sorts of different vectors. So if I take uh, this vector here, which is 1, 3, call this vector a, then a is the vector 1, 3, so it's 1 in the i direction, and it's 3 in the j direction, or just i plus 3j. So i and j um, are unit vectors in the x and y uh, directions. So if I take another vector, let's do this one here, call this b, the vector b, well it's 2 in the i direction, and it's 3 in the opposite direction to j. So it's 2 there, it's 3 there. I meant to put that line right down to the point 4 minus 4. So it's 2 along, 3 down, so it's 2i minus 3j. So i and j are unit vectors in the, in the x-axis and the y-axis. Now the final part of this introduction introduces three dimensions. Imagine this is meant to be a three-dimensional drawing of a floor. And imagine we've got a third axis, which I'm going to call the z-axis. 
So we've got the uh, x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis. So to, def to define a point in three dimensions, we could talk about the coordinate three along four, sorry, three in the x direction, four in the y direction, and five up, or three i plus four j plus five k. So, as before, the i and the j directions, uh, the i and the j vectors are in the x and y axes, and the k vector is in the direction of the z axis. So, if we take the point a. 4, 3, 6, and B, the point 3, 4, minus 2, then the vector from A to B, well, from A to B, uh, in the I direction, we go back 1. In the J direction, from 3 to 4, we go uh, along 1. And in the Z axis, or in the K direction, we go back 8. So the vector from A to B is minus 1, 1, 8. What about, the, what about AB? AB without a vector, that means the length of the vector, the magnitude of the vector, and we do that by Pythagoras in three dimensions. Uh, which works out to be the square root of 66.